Well, definitely much colder temperatures here in the wake of a potent cold front that swept through yesterday and continues to shift east today. So we're looking at uh, much colder temperatures, which will allow that Great Lakes snow machine to turn on and also turning kind of cold and quiet over the next several days. We'll share a picture with you from the National Weather Service out of Grand Forks. And winter arrived, of course, yesterday. We had blizzard conditions up near the Red River Valley. Some spots in uh, far northern and northwestern Minnesota seeing double-digit snow tallies in and around the Twin Cities, about one to three inches. But roads are terrible where it snowed. Of course, it was very warm, and a lot of that uh, melted on contact, at least the snow initially, and then it turned quickly to ice as uh, we went through the morning commute here today, a number of accidents. But wind uh, concerns and also some winter weather concerns mainly across the Great Lakes. Now, not expecting much additional snowfall, but downwind of the Great Lakes, that's where we're going to have some of the heaviest snowfall tallies. So any one of these lake effect snow bands that uh, takes hold into the um, uh, next several days could add up to quite a bit. Meanwhile, a few light snow showers kind of here and there across the region. Just a very chilly air mass now with those uh, readings again below average. Most of your precipitation is going to be shifting off to the south and east. But again, daytime highs yesterday were much colder. Today, however, we are in the teens and 20s and that will actually be below average. Uh, those overnight lows here and uh, morning lows tomorrow will be into the single digits up north.